When you're working with your PDF and also DWF underlays, you can utilize the layers that are in those particular files. Now, just before we start doing that, I've got underlay layers complete open. If you want to follow along with the video, open up underlay layers.dwg. Now, if I click on the underlay, like we've done previously, I get the contextual ribbon tab PDF underlay. Now you'll notice I've got the ability to edit the PDF layers right there. So if I click on that button there, you'll see that there's one layer available in my PDF underlay 001-1 there. If I click on the little light bulb there, I can switch that off. It still shows the edge of the PDF underlay with the black line on the Xrefs layer, but if I click on the light bulb again, it brings that layer back. Now I can do that both in PDFs and DWFs, but it's a nice little tool that allows me to work with the layers in my underlay. I'll just OK that for the moment. Now, if I go back to the Home tab on the ribbon and go to my Layers panel and open up my Layer Properties Manager, what do you notice about the layers? You'll notice there is no layer called Landscaping. That's because it's a PDF underlay layer, and it doesn't actually come into your AutoCAD layers. So that is why when I close the Layer Properties Manager here and click on my PDF underlay, and I can edit the layers there. That's the only way I can work with the layers in either a PDF or a DWF underlay in AutoCAD when I'm bringing them in as a reference file. 